Hello everyone, welcome back to our new video. In this video, I will give you more information about the top 5 best M2 SSD heatsinks that are available on the market. Actually I try to make popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinion and more. If you need more information about this products please check the link description section below. Don't forget subscribe this channel for view future videos. Let's start this videos. Starting at number 5, we have Glowtrend's Universal M.2 SSD Heatsink. So, you spent all your budget on a blazing fast NVMe SSD. However, it's running a bit hot and you're worried about it degrading gradually. Well if you want a cheap cooling solution, the Glowtrend's Universal M.2 Heatsink is a good option. Granted, it's not going to make a drastic change, but you'll appreciate it in the long run. Let's get this out of the way first. Most motherboards come with an M.2 heatsink already. If yours does not include one, then sure, this is a decent option. However, just note that it's not going to be a major step up from those factory included heatsinks. It does provide a minor decrease in temperature in both idle and under load. Moving on at number 4, we have Sabrent M22280 SSD Rocket Heatsink. Sabrent was one of the first manufacturers to quickly adopt PCIe Gen 4. Their rocket lineup of next-gen SSDs is quite remarkable. This remains true both in performance, efficiency, and reliability. However, if you want to keep that expensive SSD of yours around for longer, the Rocket Heatsink is a good investment. The Sabrent M22280 SSD Rocket Heatsink is designed for desktop computers. As the name implies, this SSD works with the 2280 form factor. While it's intended to be used with the Rocket SSDs, it will work with most other brands out there. It uses a combination of copper heat pipes and aluminum construction to dissipate heat. This does the job surprisingly well. At number 3, we have MicroConnectors M.2 SSD Heat Sink Kit. The M.2 heatsink technology with this one offers an alternative to traditional heat pipes for efficient thermal management on high-performance SSDs, providing better performance and long life cycles. Microconnectors M.2 SSD heatsink kit has a heat pipe that transfers heat from the surface of the SSD to the aluminum heatsink. When the heat is transferred to the heatsink, it is dissipated through fins on the heatsink and is prevented from accumulating in the computer case. It can be attached directly to the SSD chip via M.2 interface. Now let's get into the real thing that is the temperature test. However the silicone rings that came with this one were strong enough to fix this beast in a single position. At number 2, we have MHQJRHM22280 SSD heatsink. The MHQJRHM22280 is the world's best low-profile SSD heatsink for PS5. This heatsink is slimmest in profile and can fit into a thin notebook or even your PS5. With a high-quality aluminum alloy heat pipe, the 2280 provides outstanding heat dissipation performance. However, this heatsink comes in a black color, which they think is very stylish and eye-catching. For the conductivity it comes with an aluminum base along with a high heat conductivity and also has an integrated fan inside to provide efficient cooling for the M2 SSD. This low-profile heat spreader heatsink offers the same quality as its predecessors but is half the size. Now, it works well with PS5 that literally doesn't mean you cannot have it on your desktop. Instead it is a great addition for your PC and will help make your system run even faster. And finally at number 1. Easy DIY Fab M.2 SSD. If you are looking forward to making the most out of your bucks, then the M.2 heatsink by SD Fab is one of the best value SSD heatsinks. Because of its slim form factor it is designed for NVMe devices such as M.2 SSD, USB 2.0, SATA 3, PCIe 1x4 pin, and so on. This heatsink is suitable for both desktop and notebook computers. It is made from 6061T6 aluminum alloy and has a black anodized surface. Okay. Installing this one was a breeze. Just had to stick that double tape it came up with and stick it to the SSD, and voila, it is done. 
For this, I suggest you get a suitable adhesive that can stay longer. Now let's jump into the benchmarks again.